Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back to another Sheetify tutorial. Today's focus is to show you how you can add reoccurring transactions inside of Sheetify Bookkeeping. This is our all-in-one Google Sheets bookkeeping template designed for small businesses. If you're interested in learning more about all the tools and features that come inside our Sheetify Bookkeeping Toolkit, I will add the appropriate resources down below in the description. Okay, so diving into our latest version of Sheetify Bookkeeping 4.1, which you have access to if you've purchased Sheetify Bookkeeping in the past. Once you've set up your account, simply navigate down to Reoccurring. And this is a new tab that we've added, which essentially allows you to manage all your reoccurring transactions in one place, rather than manually jumping into Expenses or Income to manually add your different reoccurring transactions. Okay, let's navigate over to reoccurring. And as you can see, we have some current default data in here. Now, the first two things that we want to do before we can start adding our reoccurring transactions is to set a time of reoccurring, click here. And this is the time of day that will trigger your reoccurring transaction. For example, if I hit 12, this is midday, 17 is 5 p.m., 8 is 8 p.m. So for me, for example, I want all my transactions, reoccurring transactions to trigger and be added to either income or expenses at 10 a.m. on the given day. Then all we need to do is navigate up to Sheetify, then come down to enable reoccurring. And as you can see, reoccurring enabled, and you'll see this notification down here. Then let's go ahead and add a new transaction. Click on Sheetify, then come down and click on add reoccurring. Hey, just quickly, before we get back into this tutorial, if you're getting value from this video, please drop a like and subscribe. This means a lot to me and ultimately helps us reach and help more small business owners across YouTube. Thank you in advance. And with that quick note, let's jump back into this video. Navigate down, choose what that subscription is or reoccurring transaction. Is it reoccurring income coming in or is it a reoccurring expense going out on a monthly basis? I'm going to hit reoccurring expense then add the ID, this is optional, then add the item, product or service name. This is going to be an email subscription. Then add the category, click on the drop down, and this will pull in all your categories that you added in setup. I'm going to select subscriptions, then add the amount. This is $29 per month. And if I click out of here, the tax will automatically be added. And if I navigate over to setup, that is because there is a 15% tax on all our subscriptions. Now, if I navigate back over to reoccurring, if there is no tax, you can always delete this if you like or change the tax if the standard 15% or the tax percentage you added is not correct. Then add fees if you like. I'm going to leave that empty and this is the net expense. Here we can add notes. This is for three team members emails. Then all we need to do is add the day of month for the reoccurring transaction. If I click this drop down, we can select the day of the month. Now, if you select a day like the 30th and let's say it's February and February only has 28 days, then your reoccurring transaction will automatically be triggered on the last day of that month, which in February would be the 28th. Okay, so for me, this transaction gets deducted from my account on the 15th of every month. And that's all we need to do for adding reoccurring transactions. Now on the 15th of every month at 10 a.m., this expense reoccurring transaction this email subscription and all of this data here will be automatically added on the 15th into our expense tracking account just up here. Again, if we navigate over to reoccurring, you can see we have income and expenses and we have all the details in here that we've already added. And then we have the different days of the month that these different transactions will be triggered and added to either income or expense. And this is based on a monthly reoccurring practice. Now within our roadmap, we do plan to add the option to add yearly reoccurring as well as weekly reoccurring. At the moment, this is a reoccurring transaction sheet only for monthly reoccurring expenses and income. Now you can't change the time here. If you do want to change the time here, you will need to navigate up to Sheetify, then disable reoccurring. Then you can change the time to trigger on the day at a different time, a different hour, and then you'll need to enable the reoccurring transaction again. That is how you can set up reoccurring transactions inside Sheetify Bookkeeping 4.1. Again, if you have any questions about any of our Sheetify business toolkits, make sure to pop them down below. If you wanna learn more about our different Google Sheets business templates, I will add the appropriate tutorials and resources down below in the description. And with that happy note, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.